Not a pretty congratulations on the win, making it to the playoffs. Obviously, this whole Danish derby, you know, your former organization and maybe not as many players, you know, that you used to play with, but at least one of them. Just tell me about what mentality you went into this match with, you know, especially considering the situation that Heroic is in at the moment. Yeah, I mean, like the whole mentality was just like, go out and do my best. That's always my mentality, even if I play against Astralis, Vitality or whoever, whoever I end up facing. I think uh, today we uh, we obviously we played a lot better, but we also played a team that is maybe not performing as, as well as Vitality do. So I think that comes into to like into the equation as well. But today there was just like a lot more fire, and I think at least for like it's always like that when you play like the Danish derbies, like you always want to be performing well, and you also want to win because you know that's something on on, on the line. Um, and I'm just glad we came out on top, and I think we just assured everyone on the team that that we were gonna go here and not like you know make it count for the last one. Uh, potential last one. It, it's not the last one yet, um, but yeah, it feels obviously feels really good. But it also feels a little bit weird being on this side of the of the derby when I've usually been playing for Australia. So yeah. Uh, tell me about Vertigo. Obviously, you know, huge huge comeback. It seemed like you were kind of lost on over on Vertigo at the big at the at the beginning, you know. But then you just kicked into another gear. What happened there? I think we started off. Of course, we started out a little bit slow, and we ended up losing a one versus four to bus. That didn't really help them with like the the what is like the the confidence in the team and. It's kind of awkward, but like no one like got upset about it or frustrated. We just kept on going, and yeah, we just lost a few more rounds, and then it just felt like we we realized, okay, so obviously with the new MR13 or whatever we're running right now, um, like we needed to do something, and I think people just started like playing with a little bit more balls, like taking the fights instead of relying so much on playing setups and playing with each other. Like we just wanted to go out there and prove that we could hit our shots. And then we just started getting rolling from there. Maybe Astralis thought it was going to be very easy, uh, obviously being up 8-0. But I think we, we definitely won the mental game on that one. And then we just started snowballing from there. I had some really good calls from Kadian and everyone started hitting their shots. And ultimately, we just had some, some of the luck going our way as well. Uh, tell me about, I just noticed one specific round. I was standing in front of you. It was like 11-11 on overpass where it was like a 2v2 situation. I think Shush ended it with like two kills, like when they were picking him on the flower pot. I saw you were the one speaking the most in that situation as far as I know. Can you tell me, yeah, what you were talking about in that situation and are you used to being such a vocal guy, even in situations that you're not necessarily a part of? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, the situation got into like our favor since we know both rotated from CT. At that point, you know, I, I told the guys that you need to play close. Like, you need to fall a little bit back, but you need to still stay close because there's a good chance they might still have a smoke for the bomb. And if you just like fall all the way back and they have a smoke, there's a big chance they will just smoke defuse it. Um, and then the guys decided to play up close together. And I said to Kaz, Kaden, he was sitting, he was the one hiding. I said, you have to go like closer to the wall. Otherwise, if he swings, he's going to see you as well. And then you need to look down. But I mean, Shush just started, he killed both of them and they didn't even see Kaden. So at that point, I think uh, like Shush just aimed them out and had a really good game. Um, so I think I'm just like used to the whole philosophy about the game that you, when you're dead, you're not out of the round. You still help your teammates, you still contribute. Uh, I didn't have my best all pass game on, on the T side at least. So for me, instead of just like being quiet and not trying to do anything, I'm, I'm just trying to be like vocal about what's good to do and, you know, offering myself up and helping the team with the communication, which I've always done. And I think is a really important part of the game. Tell me about what the situation is with you and Heroic. Obviously, you've only committed until the end of the year. Is this a sort of like a trial line for both sides? Are you just like looking at what the plans for the future are? Can you explain that? I think my future is really open. I mean, there's nothing really set in stone right now. I'm having a really good time in Heroic. And for me, I'm just about wanting to show that I still want to play. Like, I still want to compete and I want to show that, you know, I've still got it, I guess. Um, so I'm really enjoying my time here. And obviously, we'll see what happens. I mean, with the major coming up really close in Copenhagen, that's something I, I don't want to miss out on. Uh, whether that's going to be with Heroic or it's going to be with another team, uh, I don't know yet right now. It's still up in the air, but the most important thing to me is that I'm having good time playing and I'm having good time playing for Heroic, so we'll just take it from there. Uh, you seem to have uh, been hitting a, a pretty good stride, you know. I think statistically, you've, uh, um, I mean, you've been very consistent, you know. Obviously, you know, it was like some online tournaments and not the highest level of competition, but even here, you've been keeping up a pretty decent level. What is that down to? Is it CS2 um, just fitting you? Is it this team kind of like having a little less pressure? What is it? I think it's a mix of a lot of things. I mean, it's also been different having to play the online tournaments with two, uh, like from the Christian and Sierra from, from Mouse Academy or Next or whatever they're called by now, um, where I had a lot more, like, uh, in some sense, freedom, a lot more, like, I, I could just use a lot of my experience there with the young guys. Uh, now playing with Caden, which obviously is like a real Ingham leader, if you could say that, and, you know, has a lot of saying as well. Um, and in that department, sure, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit different, and it's also kind of hard that you need to like always adapt because maybe I got really comfortable playing the other way. Now I need to adapt into be uh, and I got a, a, a couple of different other roles, you know, so we keep 
changing things up. Uh, but all I think for me, it's just about me having fun. Um, I think I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying um, competing and, com and enjoy playing. And I think that's always been my strength that if I'm having a good time, then I usually uh, usually put up the good numbers. Uh, obviously, you can still <laughs> crack somewhere. Um, but all I think it's all about the mentality that you want to keep on improving. I got feel done, I guess. Yeah. What do you think about Katie? And you know, you didn't play with him at the online tournaments, but now you've got some kind of an experience. Obviously, he is a very specific in game leader. You know, he set up this very dynamic style in the team, and it seems like it's something that suits you. You know, you're an aggressive player. You like to to take duels, and um, yeah, what are your thoughts on him and how he's leading? I think we're having a good time, and of course, we've had our. I mean, he's also been coming to me asking. So, like when we played Vitaly yesterday, he asked me if he if I saw something that he could do better. So I also think that he's trying to, you know, uh, ask me for advice and ask me about my experience and everything. But I think we get something out of like you know each other, um, and it's definitely different in the way that he's like an experiencing him leader. He's also an orbit. That's kind of what we, I mean, we did have a question when we played it, but he was not like a traditional Ingham leader. He was like, you know, very new. Um, so there's definitely like more depth to the call right now um, and also more decisiveness, I think. But I mean, it's been it's been really fun in so far, but it's been, I mean, I also think it's been a little bit hard adapting to the whole, like the way that he calls, because you can definitely feel that the way Kadian calls is how the old heroic lineup functioned. And we have different players now, but we can also feel that uh, Tissus and Shus, they're more used to his calling and sometimes it gets like in, in, in the way that you can, they know exactly what to do and we're like, uh, are we doing this and this and this? You know, you could feel that in the beginning we had to adapt to, to the whole thing, but I think we've done a really good job right now to just get on the same like the same page as much as we can and I think we assured each other that we don't have to play perfect CS. I think that is uh, like one of the keys for us that we're going to make tons of mistakes because we're not used to playing together and I think we just want to rely on, yeah, being good teammates and just hyping up each other because that can get us really far. Okay, great, thank you very much. You're welcome.